Hi, this is the host of Tech Talk with Craig Peterson, heard weekly on Clear Channel Radio with another Tech Searchlight. Welcome back to Tech Talk with Craig Peterson. We're on the floor of the Consumer Electronics Show. We're looking at some of the best products that are out there today, some of the leading innovations. That's exactly what we will be talking about right now with Jeff Jacobson. Now, we're going to talk about something called GoldenEye. You can find it online at mygoldeneye.com. That's my, M-Y, golden, the letter I, dot com. And this is a device that is designed to provide you with a, an interface from the real world to the digital world. We'll talk about that, what that all means in the hands-free computing and the mobile aspects with Jeff right now. Jeff, welcome to Tech Talk with Craig Peterson. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. So let's talk about what you guys are doing here. What's your goal behind the golden eye? This is the first opportunity that most people in the consumer space have had an opportunity to see GoldenEye. We're here specifically supporting Verizon Ericsson in their CES booth to present this in the application that it was originally designed for. The device you see on my head was designed for public safety. It was designed for people that need one or two hands free in order to access their computers, information and communications while they're busy. So police, fire, emergency response, uh, construction, manufacturing, these are all areas where GoldenEye is applicable. Now, I'm looking at it here. I tried one on just a second ago. It's very comfortable to wear. It just fits right onto your head, and in fact, fits your head. You have a display that's right in front of, well, down below your left eye, but in front of your face. And you have over on the side also a, a hearing piece so that you have audio. And it looks like you have a camera as well. Yes, yes. I have the ability, depending on the cameras I have attached up, to see in normal visible light, to see in the near IR, the far IR, which means I can look through a wall or inside the trunk of a car if I'm a policeman and see whether there's somebody in there. Uh, I also have the ability to broadcast spontaneously a video to anyone that I want to send video to. And I can receive video on any compression algorithm and decompress it here. That is really neat. So it's, it's live, it's interactive. We're not just talking about a computer display so that the officer might be sitting in the car typing in, doing a lookup on a license plate and then just reading it on here. This is truly fully interactive two-way. Yes, the, most people are familiar with using a mouse or keyboard. If you're working in an occupation where, which requires one or, or two of your hands free, um, a policeman might be writing you a ticket. He can't be using a keyboard at the same time. He might be uh, trying to chase somebody through a, a congested area. He can't pull his computer out. If he, generally, if he leaves his car, he leaves everything behind but his gun and a walkie-talkie. Mm -hmm. um, now, when a policeman leaves his car, he has not only all of the resources he had in the car, but all the resources in the world. He can go out spontaneously over the Internet. This has uh, Bluetooth 2.0, uh, 3.0, 4.0. It has A, B, G, and N Wi-Fi and 2.45 and 5.8 gigahertz. It also has the ability to uh, inter, uh, link up with 3G and 4G. So you're a walking television computing station. Now, again, we're talking about having your hands free, yes. which is an important aspect of what GoldenEye is all about here. And in order to accomplish that, what you've done is you've integrated some incredible natural speech recognition in, in multiple languages. Yes. You think of this as, as, as a notebook computer that weighs about five ounces. Uh, when you look into the optical pod, which typically people mistake for being a, an audio boom, uh, I see a full-size screen, 15 inches uh, diagonal, 18 inches from my eye. Uh, when I'm operational, I have the ability to speak up to 26 different languages to this, and it understands my commands. It's command-driven. So the microphone is always on. There's no push-to-talk button. Um, basically, as long as you give it a direct command, it will perform the command. If you use the command in a sentence, it'll ignore it. 
Now, there is also built into this uh, speech to text, text to speech, so that you can get data back and forth. You can hear it audibly, as well as having to look on the screen. You've got some active noise cancellation that's built in here with an open microphone so that you don't have to worry about the push to talk buttons or other things that you might normally have. And what I also think is interesting is that it has accelerometers based in inside of it as well, so it can track what you're looking at, where you're looking, and, and what What's going on? Yes, it has three accelerometers and three gyros. It has a six axis solid state tracking system that can track the pitch roll and yaw of your head, your gestures, uh, at 500 degrees per second. It can do it very accurately. When you combine that with the digital compass and the GPS in here, I can tell you exactly where you are, I can show you exactly the direction that you're pointed in, and I can show the elevation of what you're looking at. Um, comes in handy lots of times when people, for example, are doing utility work and they dig up a, a, a gas pipe and they want to replace a valve. He can look down into the cavity they've created, take a picture of the valve. He automatically now has photographic imagery of what the valve looks like, the model of the valve that's being used. And he has the GPS and time and date stamp on it. And it's all done automatically here, yeah, just, just by talking. Yeah, right. you just talk to it. And, and if, if I see something with my camera, or I have something that I'm viewing and I want your expertise or your help with, I can just ask for an interconnect to you, whether it be cellular, Bluetooth, or Wi-Fi. And now you see and hear exactly what I see. So one of the advantages of this are that if you're outperforming a function, whether it be in maintenance and repair, uh, as a police or a fireman, or as an emergency response person, if you need some expertise, you can reach out to anybody and show them exactly what you're doing real time, get their expertise immediately. That's really nice. We're talking right now about My Golden Eye. You can find it online at mygoldeneye.com. That's M Y Golden Eye, the letter I.com with Jeff Jacobson. Now, this is a really, really interesting device that you have here. We've talked about some of the features of it. And another one that I think is important <coughs> is the fact that the display is not in front of your eye, it's not blocking it. And also your hearing piece on the side here, your, your earphone, if you will, is not blocking it. So you still have full situational awareness. You can see and hear everything going around, on around you. Yes, when, when you wear it, typically when you're moving around, you'll wear it below your line of sight, below your eye, somewhat above your cheek and next to your nose. Because your other eye has a 160 degree field of view, if you get a few inches out in front of you, your other eye is actually seeing everything in front of you. So that tiny little bit of space which is being blocked really isn't blocked at all. So you can navigate through undulating surfaces, crowds. Uh, I had no problem. I walk over here wearing it. Um, it allows me to be able to immediately use my cell phone, use any of the features of my cell phone without having to touch it. Uh, allows me to be able to record anything that I see or hear, uh, to send that information to someone else or call up. I could be walking down the street here in Las Vegas with my friends and, and basically say, well, you guys want to eat tonight? The guy says, well, I'd like Chinese food. So I can go out and I can Google up the restaurants in the local area. I can say, oh, there's a really nice Chinese restaurant over at the Mirage. The guy say, well, what do you want to eat? Uh, so he'll give me some specific dish that he really likes. So I can immediately find out the restaurant. I can have the system call them. I'm walking down the street with my hands in my pocket, navigating through traffic, talking with my friends. They can tell me that they serve it. I can ask them for an appointment or a reservation. They can give me the reservation. I can tell them we're all booked. <laughs> this thing's just amazing. It's hard to believe. It, it has the capability here of being a full PC because it has built into it here the Microsoft operating system. You can use it as a thin client on the cloud. You could obviously have things directed to you. This is just phenomenal here. Now, the camera on the side that you have, it looks like a little eyeball almost. You mentioned that there are a number of different features. Are they all in one camera? Can you do the infrared as well as the optical spectrum and, and night light, or, or do you have to change the cameras around, or are there others available? Typically, most people will use uh, a normal visible uh, light camera. In fact, they may even have uh, lighting or illumination up here that they can actually throw out and adjust. But if you know that you're in an occupation like, uh, for example, working on cars at Mercedes-Benz or at Audi, and you're diagnosing problems with an engine that has a, a knock or vibration or a cooling system problem, I can use a camera that's actually a cluster. It's two or three little camera barrels all together and I can call up the infrared. I can now look at the engine and see where there's a blockage in the cooling system. I can look at the main bearings on the crankshaft through the metal 
and I can determine that one of them is blue when they should be yellow or red, showing that it's making contact. So that's where the vibration's coming from. The, the bearing isn't making proper contact with the surfaces. Um, it gives me the ability to also fuse sensing. Uh, if I'm just walking down the street late at night, and I'm concerned about what might be in front of me, and in some cases, some cameras also look forwards and backwards, I can turn on near IR, I can actually broadcast in a frequency that the human eye can't see. And when I look around, it just looks like broad daylight. So I can be in an absolutely, totally dark environment and be able to see everything just like it's a, a regular black and white movie. <laughs> just amazing. I see also it has a passive user health status here where it can monitor and even react to the body core temperature, heart rate, blood pressure, oxygenization, I can't even say that, SAO2, there you go. Yes. I'll just abbreviate it, perspiration loss, audio, all, gas, dust, temperature, humidity, chemical, biohazards, radiation. There are active targeting systems, audio. It's phenomenal here. I, for 10 years, I was a volunteer EMTP, mm -hmm. and this sort of stuff would just be fantastic for them. You mentioned police, military applications, all the way through all kinds of industrial you were just talking about, Basically, automotive. People are all the same. Depending, Your occupation may change, and the environment you work in may change. But your eyes and your ears and your nose and your mouth are all located in the same spot. So relative to being able to adjust it to the size of your head, a person that, that's an EMT needs to pull up information. Maybe he runs into a situation where they have an ejection from a car, it's in the middle of the desert late at night. Now his problem is, it looks like there were more than one passenger in here and where'd he go? He could be 40 or 50 feet away and it's totally black. So you go out and watch, start looking around, no, you flip to IR, you look around and that guy that, that got ejected is glowing like a light bulb over there in the sand. Uh, you can see him through the bushes. Right. Uh, when you want to pull up somebody's arm and look for a vein, because not everybody's veins are readily accessible, yeah, you, can throw down, <laughs> you can throw down illumination directly from, from your headset and see the veins exposed because the light is causing the veins to appear. It just pop out. Absolutely phenomenal. Now, if people want to find out more and really tie into this, because this is a platform that can be used for a lot of different things, obviously, is mygoldeneye.com the best place to go? It's the user group. There's a couple of hundred major companies around the world doing development work on deployment and uh, legacy uh, equipment software interfaces. They're currently writing applications, they're working with our people, that's where all the users go for updates on software and platforms. Uh, we are teamed with Motorola, we've licensed this technology to Motorola, they will be bringing out a production version of this, fully ruggedized, that can be used in all of these industrial applications uh, towards the end of this year. Phenomenal, again, mygoldeneye.com, that's M-Y, golden, the letter I, Dot com. Jeff, thanks for being with us today. Thank you very much. When we come back, we're going to be talking a lot more about some of the latest technologies right here on Tech Talk with Craig Peterson. Stick around. Thanks for watching another Tech Searchlight brought to you by Tech Talk with Craig Peterson. Visit us online at craigpeterson.com.